Our next guest is a two time Super Bowl champion. In fact, he's a Super Bowl MVP. One of the best wide receivers of his era. Heinz Ward joining us here what on up, the DA up. show on CBS Sports Radio. Heinz, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How Welcome we doing? to Atlanta, man. I'm blessed. We're here in Atlanta. We have Super Bowl 53, man. Couldn't couldn't be happier, man. Welcome to Atlanta where the players play. Yes, yeah, so you know where the players play. <laughs> this town is ready. It's ready. This town has been ready for a while. Hey, buddy. Yes, we are. I mean, we got everything. I mean, we got great food. We got great people. We, we bring you that southern hospitality, and the nightlife is like no other. Hines, you're an ambassador for this city. Now, we also are joined by Steve Smith. Hey, he's NFL just where, where, where he come from? He joins he's, us. He's so, he just popped he's so in. Spell. I can still run a little bit. <laughs> Somebody said, man, you look like you can play. You still got you still got some playing. I said, I got 10 plays. <laughs> you can give 10 plays? Seven hitches. And, well, they can't touch you after five, so and we're then, good. And then three routes where I'm running back to the sideline. <laughs> Seven. Get me. Yep. If uh, someone would sign you for 10 plays, would you do it? No. <laughs> no. I have no desire to no play desire. football. Yes. See. I didn't even play in my kid's turkey bowl game <laughs> on Thanksgiving. You want to be the I'm ref. still not there yet where I could play flag football, play any football. I can't train football. I waited a whole year. I did some boxing right after my, my year of uh, um, retirement. That January, and I did some boxing. I was, and my body was like, "Hey," and I said for a split second, I said, "I feel like I can still play," and I quit doing the boxing just because I was getting my body uh -oh, ready. Oh, was getting that urge. Yes. Yes. And I quit doing it. Yeah. So it's two years now, and I'm like, somebody, oh, you miss it? I'm like, nope. So what do you do? Just get back and eat pork chops and just get <laughs> fat and enjoy the good life? No, what I do is me and my wife on Fridays when I'm in town, mm -hmm. not working. We do an 8.30 cardio tennis class. Okay. Cardio tennis. And it's, it's fun. Is it? It's fun because you're exercising. Yeah. And then you're hitting the tennis. And, and so we do that. Um, we got a four-year-old, our last, our fourth child. We're homeschooling him. So he's my little prodigy that I'm going to turn into a tennis tennis pro. Oh, oh good. All right. Yeah. So that sounds very So he's four years old. He, lo he loves playing tennis. Me and him are hit. I got this little thing I put on a sport court, so we play in the backyard. He he cries <laughs> leaving lessons. Better forehand or backhand for your son? Uh, he's a smith. Backhand. <laughs> <laughs> Self-taught. Uh, uh. <laughs> Drop shot. <laughs> I like that one. Steve Smith and Heinz Ward joining us here on CBS Sports Radio. Did you guys find it hard to make a transition to the broadcast booth and be able to be critical with guys that you had just played with, your peers and your colleagues? I don't think so. I no, mean, because no. I also, when I'm critical of them, I'm critical of them in a way that I I generally thought that I would be okay hearing someone be critical of me. Yeah. So instead of saying that a guy dropped a pass, I said, man, we we expect more out of him. Yes. That is unlike him. Mm. You know, instead of going, oh, man, they drop passes. But then if I see a guy that generally drops passes, I say he's inconsistent, you know, or that wasn't the finish that he desired. So that's the, that's the way I kind of talk about it. Framing it. A little Fra bit different. Yeah, frame yeah. instead of saying like, what I dislike, oh, that, oh, he can't play. Yeah, and that's, uh, to me, that's personal, you know. And I think there's a fine line when you critique somebody that you don't make it personal. And I think for former players, when you criticize someone, I, I, I know it's like, man, when you saying that I'm sorry or oh. Yeah, that I gets your molly walk. Yes. <laughs> Backhanded. Yeah, yes. You get yes. The, you get <laughs> Multiple the, times. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's the thing. It, it, to me, I just critique the play. You know, the eye in the sky don't lie. If you don't make a play or you don't do this on tape, then that's my job is to critique your play on tape. But I don't try to get into the personal aspect. Is he is he a sorry player? He doesn't belong in the NFL yep. and stuff like that. That's that's when you come to blows when you meet these guys yeah. that you're criticizing because that's a personal attack. You can say whatever you want, what I do on the field, but if you attack my character, character. or anything like that, then uh, we got problems. Like I would say a guy, like I was evaluating Calvin Ridley here, and one of the things I said was I, I didn't think he was soft. I thought he needed to be stronger at – uh, the point of contact. Some people say, oh, you know, he's soft getting off the line. Oh, he's not. He just isn't used to, because of his speed, mm -hmm. used to the hand-to-hand -to -hand combat that is more prevalent in the NFL at the line of scrimmage. So I say, well, his point of contact, you know, he needs to catch the ball through contact. Yeah. That's the way I'll say it, because that's the way 
when I watch film, I evaluate that. Now, the locker room talk is when you see a corner, he can't jam. It's like, oh, he can't cover. He's just, you know, he's just, he's just a jammer. You say, oh, this, this, this. But when you're talking about on TV, you just talk about yeah. it in a way that they respect and say, man, he really watches the film on me. That, that, that's why he says it that way. NFL Network, Steve Smith, Heinz Ward joining us here on the show. When you guys were playing, did you take critique from ex-athletes? Did you give them more credibility than you gave people that didn't play the game that critiqued you? Hmm. I would much rather hear it from a player who's played the game than someone who's never played. Yeah. You know, because you don't know what the battles are in between those lines. You have no sense of kind of the little nuances of the position of how to get open or how to go to battle. I mean, I look at Steve and I, we've had similar games. We were probably the more physical wide receiver, but I remember watching Michael Irving. He would just beat guys up at the line of scrimmage. By the fourth quarter, they're backing up. They don't want to even yeah. press guys. So, you know, when you're hearing that analogy from guys who played the game rather than someone who you may watch the game from afar, you may know the game from the outside part. But to me, I'd much rather hear from the guys that's, that played the position that I played. I think it, for me, it was it's based on what they say and how they say it, right? Because I also know there are some people that have never played that study the game that have that has knowledge, and I also know there are some players who only play certain positions who don't look at and evaluate other positions. One of the things I do is I go to the combine and I evaluate the offensive lineman. I look at the D lineman. I'm learn. I have a my playbook. I look at it. What's a TE stunt? What's you know what is the protection so I can be able not to just be put in a box to evaluate just wide receivers. Right to look at corners, look at safety, understand um, the whole aspect of the game, and that's one of the things that I really worked on a lot. And plus, Steve, I mean, being a leader, I mean, you kind of know how to handle other players. And I think, just speaking in that sense, being a leader on your team, you know how to talk to guys, you know how to critique guys because you've been there before. Okay, so how do you, if you're a leader in that locker room, how do you know how to treat different guys differently? Do you have to know what's going on in their personal lives? Do you have to know what's going on in their brain? It's called relationship. Yes. Right? And it's like being a father. You got four kids. You got four different personalities. You, one, you're not going to tell the same one you say the other because the other one will take it as criticism and the other will take it as correction. Right? So you got you to gotta handle it that way, just like right. talking about coaches. Right. Understand and getting a sense of what the coaches are. I've had conversations with coaches now as an analyst that I'll say, hey, coach, I really don't understand this. Explain this to me. I have to talk about it. Give me your perspective. I'll give you my perspective, of what I've witnessed and heard and tell me where am I am I off base and we'll talk about it. And sometimes I don't even talk about the conversation. Well, how do you read young guys? How do you know how it's they're wired? How do you know how they're wired before you? Well, kind of first of all, they, they need to get wired the yeah, right way. Yeah, it's the generation, <laughs> the generation gap. Like just the young guys now, it's all social media. It, it's how many likes I get. It's how many. What can I do to promote myself individually? Yeah. You know, so it's hard because you know Steve and I, we come from the old school where we just go out there and play. We don't really try to buy into us trying to promote ourselves individually but it's it's hard to connect with this younger generation because you're getting guys tweeting out right before like 10 minutes before they run out on the football field but did you guys feel that when you came into the league that there were older guys than you that thought absolutely. you guys were new school and yeah, we couldn't yeah, yeah. the new generation absolutely. but here's the difference with the new generation the new generation the difference is they believe they're even with you Yes. Right. I, I, I've had conversations, huh. guys. Well, I'm, I'm just like you. So humility for both of you guys coming in was different it's, than there I, is. I'm not even going to say I'm not even going to say humility because there are times I know I've come across uh, uh, with lack of humility. Once but or I, twice, I, Steve. But, yes, exactly. But that's maturity, too. <laughs> but, but I'm talking about I'm talking about even where I had a guy sit, tell me one time, he's like, man, I'm just like you. I said, how? How are you just like me? And I, <laughs> and I said, and I'm not talking about statistically. Yeah. How? I'm like, I am. It was when I was Baltimore. I'm 37 years old. I have a 20-year-old son. You just left. You two can't even rent a car in the state of New York. <laughs> you're looking for you're looking for an apartment to rent. I have a mortgage. Me and my wife go to the grocery store. I am man enough to go to the store and buy her tampons. Yeah. Would you do that? Like, I'm, we're not even. Yeah. Bro, I cook dinner for my family. Yeah. You, you are making... 
oodles and noodles. Exactly. <laughs> Through the microwave. Right. So, you know, that that's that's what I mean where they even they don't understand. Mm. Yeah. You are now embarking on life. Yes. Mm. You felt the same way, Heinz, that when you came into the league, you didn't put yourself at the same tier as the older guys, but by the time you retired, you felt that some of the younger guys were doing that to you. No question about it. It's, it's, it's more of a, you know, I'm trying to help the young guys learn the game, just learn life lessons. Hey, don't make the same mistakes that I did. But you'll be amazed. Some of those guys like, I, I got it. I know what I'm doing. Yep. You know, it's more of the like, okay, I'm trying to help you out. I'm not trying to sit there and be your father and stuff, yeah. but I want to be a bigger brother. Make sure you don't make the same mistakes that I made as a professional athlete. Some of the pitfalls and the people that I had to disassociate myself with, my crew, mm. my guys, that's the hardest thing to do for mm -hmm. a lot of us is to tell our friends no because they've been there when we didn't have anything. And that's impactful words of wisdom that I think a lot of people really need to, to think about. Steve Smith, you can catch his coverage throughout the week and throughout the weekend on NFL Network. They've, do, they've done amazing stuff all week long as well. And for Heinz Ward, you're here on behalf of Hyundai, which yeah. is very cool. They got a funny commercial coming out for the Super Bowl, right? Yeah, I did some work with Hyundai over the years. Ed Reed and I kind of caught up, and we did our little special in Pittsburgh. It was the first time Ed and I kind of got together, and, <laughs> and we, yeah, we shook hands. We're boys now. I was like, man, you talking about <laughs> you talking about hatred? Talking, you talking about like, hatred? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Oh my God. rivalries! Yes, Hyundai brought us together. And, hate. And, and, yes, just pure hate, but uh, really <laughs> just to promote the Shoppers Assurance Program to help car buying easier for customers uh, when they're searching for the new car and of course the new you got to love all the Super Bowl commercials and stuff Jason Bateman you go on the Hyundai's YouTube page you can check it out it's pretty funny man but Hyundai brought Ed Reed and I together that's Same awesome that, that Hyundai's but, doing a great job yeah, who's good. your Ed Reed Steve Smith <laughs> who's my Ed Reed yeah who was the guy that you just hate? I, it, it, see, they didn't hate each no, other no we didn't hate respect yeah. it they was just, genuine when, dislike when they said yeah. Start the game. <laughs> it was a battle. They just they wanted to hit each other. They yes. wanted to take each other out of the game. Yes. And watching Hines, when I used to watch him, man, it was like I used to try to do the same. Just not, just knock the snot out of somebody. <laughs> I appreciate you guys stopping by, man. Uh, Thanks so much, guys. No Steve Smith, Hines Ward here on CBS Sports Radio.